here we have the equation of a line. So not in standard format, but we have an equation. And we want to find an equation of a line that's perpendicular to this one. And our answers are also not in standard format. So here, when we're looking at perpendicular lines, we know that we're going to care about the slope because we know that the relationship between perpendicular lines is just that the slope is the negative inverse of a perpendicular line. So here, with this equation, we can just take the 2 over to the other side to get standard format, and we have y equals 3x minus 6. Here, once you realize that this number isn't going to affect the x, you don't even really have to do anything because you know automatically that 3 is the slope or the m. So once we know that, then we know that we're looking for an equation with the negative inverse of that, so negative 1 over 3. So this is going to be the slope of our perpendicular line. And here, again, you can either switch these to standard format, or if you feel comfortable enough, then you can basically just look at them and say that this one, when I get y isolated on its own, it's going to have 2x, and then I'm going to end up dividing that that I've brought over to the other side by 3. So 2 thirds not equal to negative 1 third, not going to be my answer. Up here, I can bring over the 3x, and I'm going to get y equals negative 3x something, which is negative, but it's not the inverse of 3. So here, nope, also not an answer. Here, I have the same coefficient on both the x and the y, so when I bring over the x and divide it by the y, I'm just going to get 1, also not my answer. Here, I could bring it over and I'd have y equals some form of 4x plus 5 divided by 3, which isn't going to work. I'm going to have 4 over 3 as my slope, and so I hope this one's my answer because I've already gotten all the way up to a, and in this case it actually is because when I bring x over, I'm going to have negative 1x, and then I'm going to have to divide it by 3, so I'm going to get negative 1 third as my slope, and a as my answer for a perpendicular line. Thanks again for watching educator.com. I'll see you in future SAT math videos.